Thank you so much for joining us this morning on the fifth Sunday after Easter, as we also celebrate and recognize the mothers in our midst on this Mother's Day. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 
bless you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Now recite the Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself is has made us and we are his. We, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Our psalm will now be read by Seminarian Psalmoon. We'll read the portions of Psalm 31 together. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant and in your loving kindness save me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The first lesson will now be read by Laura Arthur. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Stephen gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they covered their ears, and with a loud shout, all rushed together against him. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold the sin against them. When he had said this, he died. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Please join me as we say together a song of praise. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. The Holy Gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. 
Jesus said, do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house, there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do not know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact, will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. I greet you in the name of our sustainer, redeemer, and life-giving God. In 1896, Judson Van Deventer wrote a well-known hymn, I Surrender All. Before writing this hymn, he considered a career in art, but God called him to be an evangelist. And in considering what it meant to give of oneself fully to God, he wrote a confession of what it meant for him to give up everything and submit his will to God. Billy Graham in the 1940s used this hymn at his crusades and revivals to offer a public confession of giving himself and his followers to God. We all know this hymn because it means so much to us to relieve our burdens and to submit ourselves to God. I surrender all is not only a confession, but is a rallying cry of what it means to be in relationship with God. Since Stephen in the Acts of the Apostles gives us a glimpse of what it means to fully commit to God, not only works on earth, but also to death. He is described as being full of wisdom and grace and being moved by the Holy Spirit. In sharing the good news of the resurrected Christ, St. Stephen shares the word to the Gentiles, the unchurched, the Jews, and he is challenged by scribes and elders. He tells them stories of Abraham, of Joseph, of Moses, how each of them, being fueled by the Holy Spirit, they surrender themselves to God, and God's greatness and miracles was revealed through them. But he also challenged the elders that they were stiff-necked people, that even though they had prophets, even though they had the authority, they rejected the prophets and God. It is these words and Stephen's wisdom that can condemned him to death by saying i commend my spirit to god stephen is echoing the words that can be found in the psalm appointed for today 
Stephen is outlining to us that even in death, he is surrendering to God. But what it means to surrender to God, it means to put God above everything else. What it means to surrender all to God, it means that our turn and our search for hope is in God. What it means to surrender all to God, that our wisdom, our purpose, and our drive, the source is God. But I think what it means to surrender to God, it means putting everything before God, even to death. I have some friends who are so committed to God as we all ought to be, that they are planning their lives and also their funeral. The hymns, the readings, is all laid out. I would like to take a page out of one of my friends who said that so far she has planned her funeral and there's one hymn that or song that she would like to be sung. And that is one known by Patti LaBelle. If you don't know me by now, you will never, never, never know me. It may sound funny, but what it means to surrender oneself to God in our works on earth means that when people give a testimony of you, they know you and they know you well to be a servant of God. In each of the stories that St. Stephen provided to the scribes and to the elders, Abraham, Joseph, as well as Moses, God guided them because they had no idea of what the future would look like, but they followed the word of God submitted everything and their control over to God. God delivered them out of the bondage. God delivered them out of slavery. God provided a covenant in them. And the same thing God is providing to us. When I think of the Psalm appointed for today, the words refuge come to mind. What it means to surrender to God and to seek refuge by God and in God. The author of The Art of War, Sun Tzu, speaks of what it means to be in battle and what it means to surrender and also what it means to be triumphant in war. He speaks about fighting battles in the open fields of being very a tactic that can be very unsuccessful. But if you attack your enemy who is barricaded on his own turf, it means that your odds are winning are extremely low. When we surrender all to God, we seek refuge under the barricade and protection of God. It means that any evil forces, any negative persons, any persons who wish us unwell, or anything we may encounter in our lives, once we seek refuge and protection with God, and when we surrender all to God, we will be protected, we will thrive and God will deliver us out of any circumstance. Surrender yourself to God. Surrender all to God. What it means is to give your life to God. Amen. Please join me in reciting the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us now pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you, and also with you, let us pray. Almighty God, whom truly to know is everlasting life, grant us so perfectly to know your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the way, the truth, and the life, that we may steadfastly follow his footsteps in the way that leads to eternal life, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. At this time, I would like to offer a special prayer for nurses, teachers, and of course, mothers on this Mother's Day. Typically, you would be you would have been here with me in the pews, and I would have invited the nurses and the teachers and the mother up for a special blessing. And it's such a wonderful time to recognize them as we know that nurses are on the front line of the fight against COVID-19 and working additional hours. And we know that there are teachers out there, our traditional teachers and teachers who are parents, who are serving as teachers in homes. And of course, mothers always should receive a blessing. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Thank you, gracious Lord. We give thanks for the ability to recognize and to lift up nurses in our midst. They are the real superheroes on the front lines of the fight against COVID-19. Instill within them a will to be the best version of themselves. I ask, Lord, that you bless them and impart words that will provide knowledge and patience and also a kind bedside manner to those whom they serve. Equip them with the vision to see those who are struggling with their illness and the ability to help them understand how to cope. Show them how to provide expert care while making every patient more and more comfortable. Permit them to be a source of strength to their patients and also supportive families. May each of them be a true sign of your love to each and every person whom they come in contact with. Amen. And for teachers, the Heavenly Father, one of the imprints that you provide us is your source of wisdom. Grant the teachers qualified and unqualified those who are full-time are those who are part-time and fill in like the parents during this lockdown period. Fill them with a sense of wisdom, a sense of knowledge to have a command of the subject areas in which they are leading, a sense of patience to understand that these are trying times and also that they are looked upon as role models, a sense of availability to be there to listen, to hear of the joys and the concerns of not only their students, but also parents. Provide within them a sense of strength to carry on the important work of educating and informing those who are in their care. I ask that you bless them now, forever and ever. Amen. Now a special prayer for mothers. Let us pray. Dear gracious Lord, we are grateful for examples of love, of patience, of perseverance and strength that you allow to be shown through all mothers, those who have 
given birth to individuals, those who have served as mother figures for others. We give thanks that they are examples of your love on earth. Continue to strengthen them, fortify them, continue to instill within them a sense of wisdom and also peace. And I ask that today be an enjoyable day and where they are showered with love from family and friends. And I ask that this day continues for the remaining of the year. I ask that you continue to bless them. May your light perpetual continue to shine upon them and give them strength. Amen. Let us call upon God to hear our prayers and to grant us to those things that are in accord with the divine will. Responding, hear us, O risen Christ. For Christians who are imprisoned and persecuted for their faith, that like Stephen, they may follow the light that casts out all fear. Let us pray. Hear us, O risen Christ, that we may do the works that Jesus revealed in his ministry, the healing of the sick, the raising up of the lowly, the giving of sight to the blind, and the blessing of the poor and the grieving. Let us pray. Hear us, O risen Christ. For those who are spiritually lost or who question their faith or whose souls are wrapped in the shadows of doubt, that they may share their misgivings with Jesus, who gently unfolds the truth and reveals a way. Let us pray. Hear us, O risen Christ, that the church, the community of the baptized, may vigorously proclaim the Alleluia's of Easter, revealing the light of Christ, whose victory over death breaks the chains of darkness and despair. Let us pray. Hear us, O risen Christ. In thanksgiving for the beauty that is set before our eyes and for the mysteries yet unseen, that we may honor the expensiveness of creation and be guardians of its splendor. Let us pray. Hear us, O risen Christ. In thanksgiving for missionaries throughout the world who reveal God's word in challenging time and places, let us pray. Hear us, O risen Christ. That the Lord may comfort those in the vanging days of life and bring to life eternal to those who have died in the hope of resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O risen Christ. As a chosen people who share the royal priesthood of Christ, let us add to those petition. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, especially for Brian, Deneen, Brad, Robert, Jonathan, Anne, Carol, Peg, Joanne, Bill, Steve, Suzanne, Chris, April, Linda, Nelson, CJ, Don, Shaista, Naveed, Suleiman, Madison, Ryan, Cherry, Yuan, Victor, Ricky, Joyce, Vincent, Bob, Howard, Maureen, Jennifer, Yannick, Dennis, Fatima, Pat, Jack, Barbara, Charles, Faye, Beverly, Heather Y, Rick, Jess, and for this assembly, as we serve the sisters and brothers among us, and as we work outside church doors, forget us not, O Holy One. Let us pray to the Lord that they may be delivered from their distress. Please join me as we gather together to say the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, 
We, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness. To us and to all whom you have made, we bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, by the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. sure foundation Christ the head and cornerstone chosen of the Lord and precious binding all the church in one holy Zion's help forever and her confidence alone. All the dedicated city clearly loved of God on high in exultant jubilation pours perpetual melody. God the hymns eternally. To his temple where we call thee, come, O Lord of hosts today, with thy wanted loving kindness, hear thy servants as they pray, and thy fullest benediction shed within its walls always. Hear, vouchsafe to all thy servants what they ask of thee to gain, what they gain from thee forever, with thy blessed to retain, and hereafter in thy glory evermore with thee. Thanks for watching our video today. At St. Michael's, we are finding new ways to practice fellowship with one another and would love for you to continue to join us. Please like us on Facebook, visit our website, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can find the links in the description on this video below. See you next time and God bless you.